Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fate Stay Night. Previously, we had quite the surprisingly friendly conversation with Shinji, and he let he let Shiro know quite a few things, most notably about how the Mato family's magic circuit has uh, declined over the years, and now Shinji isn't really much a Megas at all, and Sakura is just completely devoid of any knowledge, or at least that's what he says. We, we, we really can't just take him for his word, you know? He's just too slimy, you know? Anyway, uh, Shiro left the manor with the knowledge that there's a Magus on Ryoto Temple, on the hill, that is behind this draining of life force thing that's going on, and she may be the culprit behind the sick, nasty rune that was left at the school. But on his way home, Shiro ran into one Ryudo Issei, so that was very appropriate, and we're still in that conversation, and Issei seems to know a thing or two about this person, because he's saying that this witch, well, he's not calling her a witch, he doesn't know, but he's saying that this person is an acquaintance of his father's, which has my curiosity very piqued. So let's hop right back in here. Part 30. Oh, I didn't... I don't... I didn't know you could rearrange these. Uh... Okay. I, I didn't know that. I should be more careful. That's Loden. Yeah, not the mountain, but the air at our temple is restless. She's apparently an acquaintance of my father, but we've taken in a bothersome guest. It's a problem because she is beautiful. Jeez, why is everyone making so much commotion over one woman? Woman, does Ryudo Temple have nuns? No, this is a special circumstance, and we're letting her use the room until the wedding celebration. Uh huh. No, but this person is so beautiful that it even captivates me when she's getting water from the well. Okay. Uh, I have many questions? Like, okay, so I, I did assume that this guest was staying there as a guest and not some religious person looking for a monk experience. I, I don't... M a, a trial of monkhood? I, I don't really know the term for that, but... Staying until the re wedding celebration. Is this guest, this witch, the one getting married? Or... No. You know what I bet it is? I think this whole wedding celebration thing, I think that might be a cover story that Issei's father told him. Like, I think... Yeah, as I said in last time, I think that um, Issei's father might be a Magus himself. And, um, well, no. If Issei is the eldest son, why would secrets be kept? He'd know all about Magus stuff and the Holy Grail War, I would assume. But, uh, oh, I don't know. I just don't know. What do you Issei? Oi. What do you mean, a special circumstance? Hey, Issei? Hey, are you listening to me? No, 
Mm, sorry. That is why women are bad. I just can't control my horniness. <laughs> Reject lust. Be calm, Issei. The student council president starts to recite Buddhist scriptures. Jeez, he's so serious, so he's hard to deal with when he gets like this. <sighs> hey, are you alright, Issei? No problem. My training is insufficient, so I wish to purify myself more. I guess he still didn't hear me as he disappears into the back of the town. Man, I'd make a great monk. I don't I don't have any problems with lust. I have, I have the opposite problems. I want it as far away from me as possible. Uh, okay, no, the only problem with me being a monk is that I'm too addicted to electronics, man. Anyway. The sun is already setting by the time I reach my house. I'm home first just like yesterday. Sakura and Fujini will be here soon, and Tosaka should be back too. I'll talk to her about what I heard from Shinji after Sakura and Fujini go home. There is no point in talking about it when those two are here. That decided, I have to go and prepare dinner. Tosaka got me yesterday, and I have to try to put Fujini in a better mood. Cooking takes time and effort before love. If I'm to go for a sure win, I'll have to spend twice as much time. So, after all that, what happened is... Huh, what? I didn't lose, stupid Tosaka-san, bully! I'm talking about the taste of the food. Um, it's the best dinner so far according to Fujimura-sensei, so I'm saying we should share it among everyone. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I get it. I think I think Rin is trying to pass away her portion of the food. She doesn't like it. <laughs> uh, I think she's saying something else. Tosaka-san said she didn't want to eat the food Shiro cooked. That's only in the mornings. I eat dinner like normal and we take turns cooking dinner, so it is my right to eat. If you don't like that, please take my place tomorrow. Ah, that personality that strikes precisely at my weak point? Man, I didn't think you were such a terrible student. Fujini reluctantly returns the pot to the table. And so, the specially prepared rice returns to the table safely. Hold on, Fujini. I cooked a lot, so you don't need to hurry. I made enough for everyone. Munch, munch. Am I the only one having a little bit of trouble following what's going on? That's right, 
But senpai, isn't this a bit too much? Munch munch. Eh. Yoninbun no taru o nidan gasane, to yu no ga, akiraka ni juryo kata desu. Does it make me an awful person if I completely forgot that Saber would be here? Like, until she just showed up here, I forgot she existed. <laughs> yes, two casks for four people is obviously too much. Munch, munch. It's not a cask, it's a pot. And it's fine, the rice is today's main dish, so there can be lots of it. If there's any leftover, I'll make some rice balls and it'll be lunch for tomorrow. Munch, munch. Oh, can I have some too? I usually don't like fried rice, but this is exceptional. There are lots of things in it. What exactly did you use? Munch munch. It's basically rice mixed with mushrooms, right? There are lots of details, like the way it's using citrus instead of fried things for its aroma. Munch, munch. Munch? Fine! I'll eat it all myself then! You watch! Fujini must have given up taking the pot for herself as she starts to eat really fast. She empties her bowl quickly and asks for more in no time. Fine, but it won't run out even if you take it slow, Fujini. That's fine! I'm going to eat Shiro's food, so I won't give it to some stranger. She snatches away the bowl. Huh? I don't get it. Sakura is smiling awkwardly. Tosaka is ignoring Fujini, and Saber is eating her food. I put in a lot of effort to make this, but it might have had the opposite of the desired effect. The dinner that was supposed to have Tosaka admit defeat ends loudly because of Fujini's strange actions. Then, see you, senpai. Yeah, Fujini, please take Sakura home safely. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. Stepping lightly, Fujini holds Sakura's hand. What? Shiro, you look like you're wondering about something. Of course I'm wondering. Usually people can't move after eating that much. Oh, no, it's fine. Fujimura, she, she just has that big shonen protagonist energy. She will eat out an entire kitchen. Really? It was tough, but it's fine once you swallow it. So you should realize the problem is that there's no limit to that, tiger. Just as one would expect from a wild tiger. If possible, I don't want it accidentally trespassing into human society. <laughs> then see you tomorrow. Don't step late, you two. Yes, good night, senpai. Yeah, night, Shiro. Bye, watch out for molester bears. Okay. I see the two off and return to the living room. 
I said I had to talk to them after dinner, so Tosaka and Saber are waiting in the living room with serious expressions. Yeah, I would expect that they know exactly what's up. Thanks. So, what is it that you want to talk about? About the other masters. There's something I want to tell you guys. Saber raises her brow a bit. As a servant, she must prefer battles where she uses her sword to these peaceful days. But her wounds shouldn't have healed yet. The wound on her chest made by Lancer's, Lancer's noble phantasm isn't something even Saber can heal quickly. Thinking about that makes me hesitate telling them about Shinji. I feel the same way as Shinji. I want to avoid starting fights, and I think the girl in front of me swinging a sword is a disparate image. Shiro, Shiro, you have something to tell us? Uh, yeah, right. To put it simply, I went and met with Ryder's master today. What? Ryder's master? When did this happen? Ridiculous. Meeting with another master by yourself? What were you thinking? Whoa, hold on. Calm down. It's all right. I'm not hurt, so don't get mad. Do not get mad? No, I am not mad. I am only stunned by your actions. Me too. Well, it's no use arguing over what's done. So, what's going on, Shiro? Tosaka and Saber glare at me with obvious anger in their eyes. Jeez. I thought they would say something about me being thoughtless, but I didn't think they would get this mad. I met him this afternoon. I only went because he wanted to talk to me, and it's not like we fought. I can tell by looking. So, what kind of a guy was Ryder's master? What kind of guy? Well, it's Shinji. He called out to me when I was searching for the boundary field. He said he wanted to talk to me and ask me to follow him, so I went to Mateo's house. Shinji? Shinji? You mean that Shinji? Ah, Ryder was Shinji to follow him. Yeah, Ryder was obeying him, and he knew about the Holy Grail War. According to him, the, Ma the Mato family is a lineage of Magi with a history. Uh, uh, well, yeah, well, that's true, but it can't be true. The Mato family has exhausted and was exhausted in the last generation. No matter what they do, their children won't have a magic circuit. That's for certain. Ren, what do you know about them? Huh, also, I appreciate this brand new track. Tosaka declares so. 
If so, Shinji and Sakura really must not have magic circuits. Yeah, Shinji also said that. But the knowledge was only left in the book. The child of Shinji didn't tell Shinji about it, so Sakura didn't know about it. Yeah, Shinji said that too. But he said they still had the knowledge. Something about it being taught only to Shinji, the eldest son. So Sakura didn't know about it. In short, he's a master rather like me. He said he doesn't have any magical energy, so he wouldn't be detected by your perceptions. So, that's right. There's a case in this case. If you have a child left, you can be a master. But... That's why I'm going to kill you. I'm a fool. I see. I messed up. There certainly could be such cases. If they had grimoires remaining, he would be able to become a master. Then, jeez, my actions were totally obvious to him. I'm an idiot. Tosaka is mumbling, reflecting on our actions. Huh. Tosaka is close to perfect, but I think there are a few things missing. Unfortunately, they're the most crucial ones. That was a mistake on my part. I should have kept an eye on Shinji. If I'd known, I wouldn't have let him construct that boundary field. Hold on now. We still don't know if that's really him who did it. Or his servant. Ah, yeah. Oh, Shinji said the boundary field at school wasn't his. He said there's another master at school. Eh, so it was so the show, eh? Gakoni wa mother hitori, but that's that's no shiranai master gai no a me haku yo. Yes, that's true. It's obvious that there's another master at school who we don't know about. Kedo shiro, Anata Masaka. But Shiro, don't tell me you're just trusting Shinji's word that he's not the one who constructed the boundary field. Yes, good, thank you. No, I'm not that good natured. As long as Shinji goes to our school, I think there's an even chance it's his doing. The alternative being the unknown master. Or a foreigner who just targeted any old place with a high concentration of people that are reliably there at a specific time of day. N no? Anyone? No? Okay. Even, huh? I think you're being... you're still being very good-natured. Well, that's fine. That good nature is just the way you are, and that must be why Shinji told you his true identity. Uh-huh. Oh well, so what did you talk with Shinji about? He asked me if I wanted to cooperate with him. It seems Shinji has no intention of fighting, so he seemed to want to ally with someone he knew. Shiro, you're really Shinji. Shiro, then you... No, it's a bad thing. I'm already with Tosaka and I'm working. No, isn't it natural to refuse? I've already joined up with you. If you do it, you can't talk to Tosaka. 
Even if I were to agree, I'd have to ask you first. Oh, yeah, that is true. But didn't you say you refused? Yeah, like I said, I answered Shinji on my own. It wasn't something to debate. Oh, was I too hasty? I would say so. There could have been the chance for Shiro to be, be a double agent. Like, by all appearances, he could choose to ally with, uh, with Shinji and, and plan to betray Rin, but they in turn could lure Shinji and Ryder into a trap and take him out. Not particularly. I think your decision was correct. Well, if you were the one asked, it's not something I can complain about. The way she mumbles so the, the way she mumbles so isn't like Tosaka at all. That was it from Shinji. From what I saw, Ryder wasn't a strong servant. Even putting Berserker outside of the picture, I don't think she had the same presence as Lancer. And Ryder herself was more normal than I expected. If you think so, it must be true. Aww, I like that trust. That's cute. But a servant's true power is determined by their noble phantasm. Please do not underestimate her until we find out Ryder's true identity. Nah. ライダーがどこの英雄かは全くわからなかった。ほら、ランサーとかバーサーかはいかにも英雄って感じじゃないか。ライダーにはそれがなくて、どこか普通のサーバントとは違う気がした。Yo, wait, I just had an idea. This talk of Ryder's appearance, followed by this discussion of uh, concerning her noble phantasm, just gave me an idea. What if her eyes are her noble phantasm? Like, what if that blindfold she's wearing is like a sheath for her weapon? Uh, like I'm, th I'm thinking like freaking Cyclops from X Men, you know? Um, no, what? Okay, there's got to be many. No, there's got to be at least one mythical figure who had eye powers. Oh man. Oh, is there some? Isn't there like some Japanese deity? That has freaky eyes? No, maybe not. Uh, oh no, um... I'm trying to think. Gosh, like the only pantheons I'm super familiar with are the Greek pantheons and the Norse pantheons. Everything else, uh, yeah, I couldn't, I really couldn't say. Like, um... I know a tiny bit about Egyptian. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm feeling it. Okay, maybe it's just Ryder's design, but I'm suddenly feeling Egyptian vibes from Ryder. That could be a thing. Well, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't tell at all which hero when she was. See, Lancer and Berserker feel like heroes, right? But Ryder didn't have that feeling. I feel like she was different from a normal servant. 
通のサーバントとは違うですか Different from a normal servant. 私には分かりませんがリンならシローの違和感が説明できますか I do not understand. Rin, can you explain Shiro's strange feeling? Yeah, that's not sensible. Get a normal, regular, mortal person to describe how they feel in the presence of servants. Oh, oh, Rikus da ke nara wakaru wa yo? Huh? Uh, yeah, I think I understand. Okay, one more thing.、Um, on, the, on the subject of Egypt, It doesn't even have to be gods of Egypt. It could be stuff like pharaohs. You know? It could, it, it could be a pharaoh. Though, um. The only female pharaoh I know of is. What's her name? Oh, Cleopatra. Okay, man. I can't, I can't even look up my theory. Like, if I Google or the Wikipedia entry for Cleopatra and I read anything that has to do with her eyes, I'll probably know something's up. Ah.、Uh, oh well. Eh, then, Sarbanto is the one who is the one who is the one who is the Well, it's because the master influences which heroic spirit is summoned as the servant. The master and servant end up being similar people. つまり、高潔な人物がマスターなら、それに近い霊格をした英霊が召喚される。逆に言えば、心に深い傷を持った人間が英霊を呼び出せば、同じように傷を負った英霊が現れるわ。So, if the master is a noble person, a heroic spirit similar to them will be summoned. And if a person with a huge scar in their mind summons a heroic spirit, a heroic spirit with a scar in their mind appears as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can definitely see how Heracles and Ilias Veal are birds of a feather. Yeah, sure. Um, but if this is true. Yeah, yeah. Rin is a snob. Archer's kind of a snob. He's got pride.、Um, Shiro's a goody two shoes, and Saber's a goody two shoes. Shinji's a sociopath who abuses his little sister. So let's just assume Ryder is a freak. So, yeah. That leaves Lancer. We don't know a single thing about Lancer's master. And we know Lancer is. Cocky and likes to play with his food and is bestial. Hmm. I don't think we know any human like that. Huh. You, do you. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Shiro ga Raida ni kanjita i w a k a n wa sore de shou ne. The strange feeling Shiro must have had towards Ryder must be that. A master with a crooked mind sometimes summons vengeful ghosts, almost like heroic spirits, instead of a hero. Vengeful ghost? Almost like heroic spirits. Could that be what you're talking about earlier?、Uh, talking about before? Eh. Chio Miru no ga daisuki. Hito worshi nante nanto mo mana yo na bo yak sha yo. Yes. A mass murderer who that loves the sight of blood and thinks nothing of killing people. Jisai, Zanni sa dake ga den shou ni no kote iru eiyu da te irun da kara. So yu yats ga servant ni nante mo okashku wa nai wa. Actually, there are heroes with only massacres to their legend, so it's not strange for something like that to become a servant. Is that so? Certainly, I could only smell blood on Ryder, but she didn't seem like a bloodthirsty killer. Well, that's all there is to say about Ryder. Let's 
There's one more thing, but it might be the most important. According to Ryder, there seems to be another master at the Ryudo Temple. I guess this master is collecting magical energy from everyone in this town. What do you two make of this? Ryudo Temple? You mean that temple at the top of the mountain? Yeah, what, does it mean something to you, Tosaka? God damn it, for a second I dared to hope she would say, Of course, idiot, that's the other magical family in town. But no. Of course not. It's just the opposite. I've never been to the Ryudo Temple. I don't know what kind of a master this person is, but normally you wouldn't choose to position yourself in such a remote place. Right, I was also surprised when I heard that a master is at the Ryudo Temple. Even though it won't draw people's attention, there are many monks living there. If they act strangely, I think there'd be an quick uproar. Typo. Uh, I can't quite trust that story. Even if it was the case, the Ryudo Temple is on the outskirts of the suburbs, right? To reach out to Miyama City and Shinto was more like a waste of magical energy than a great magic. Such large-scale magic is impossible even with the magical energy collected from it. This is the part where Shiro tells him about what Issei said. Then, Tosaka starts to think with a troubled face. I'm relying on Tosaka's opinion, so there's nothing I can do until she talks again. Oh. Saber. No, that story is very plausible. If one takes that temple, such magic would be naturally possible. What, is it like built on a ley line or something? Saber, by that temple, you know of Ryudo Temple? I haven't taken you there yet. Well, I, I was right. There is a ley line. Okay. Did you forget, Shiro? I have participated in the Holy Grail War previously as well. I am well informed about the city, and I know that the temple is a fallen ley line. Can we talk about the concept of ley lines for a second? So, like, on the surface, I think the idea is really cool. Like, there's rivers of magic running underneath the surface of the planet, and just the right location can tap it as you would tap an oil well or something like that. But at the end of the day, the only narrative function of a ley line is to make a very specific location the author wants to be a very convenient place for things to occur in his story, you know? Like... A ley line exists to be a contrivance, you know? But, I don't know, it's, it's still cool. I give it a pass all the time. 
それってうちのことよなんだって一つの土地に地脈の中心点が二つもあるっていうのよ Fallen Ley Line? Hold on, that's what my house is Why are there two foci of Ley Lines in one area? それは私にもわかりませんがとにかくあの寺は魔術師にとって神殿とも言える土地です I do not know, but that temple is a place Magi can call sacred. I hear it is where the life of the region flows to, so it would be a perfect base to collect souls, of souls from. Amegas need only to intervene in the natural flow to collect life forces from the whole city. I've never heard of that. But if that's the case, then it would certainly be possible for someone to steal life forces from all the people in the city. そんなの当然じゃないかそうでもないところに寺なんて建てないぞ In other words, it's just an area that's spiritually superior, right? That's only natural You don't build a temple anywhere else <laughs> そ,そんなの当たり前じゃない言われなくても分かってるわよ Ah,、oh, uh, of course You don't need to tell me that だよな昔から寺とか神社ってのは神がかる場所に建てて町を守るものだ坊さんは神仏に祈って幸を与えるんじゃなくて鬼門を封じて災いを退けるその線で言えば竜道寺のあるお山が特別な場所ってのは当然だろう I thought so Temples and shrines have been built in sacred places to protect the town since ancient times It's not that the monks pray to grant happiness They remove evil by sealing the ill omen On that basis, it's only natural that the mountain Ryudo temple is, is on would be a sacred place. Oi, Masaka to a Omoga. Oh my, Ryudo Jo Okazari no Terada to demo omote tanoka. Hey, I don't want to consider this, but did you think that Ryudo temple was just for show? Eh, so yo warui? Inama de aru dake no Terada to omote tawa yo. あの寺には実践派の法術師がいないんだから。Yeah, I did. Is there something wrong with that? Until now, I thought that temple was just for show because it didn't have any practicing healers. 実践派の法術師。なんだそれ。Practicing healers. What is that? 度胸や心身、祈願以外で霊を成仏させる連中のこと。People who let ghosts go to heaven without using chants, faith, or prayers. Kaksha wa shinbutsu no chikara dake de koto o nassu o dake do. Shugyou ga asai soulya wa shinbutsu ni todoka nai kara. Watashi tachi mitai ni jishin no chikara o uwa nose shite jutsu o nassu no. Enlightened people try to do so with just Buddhist powers, but monks without enough training haven't reached that level yet. So they add their own power to create spells like ours. Okay. そういう連中が集まって組織みたいになっているのがあるのよこの国には私たちとは相入れない連中だから詳しくは知らないけどさ There's some kind of organization of those kinds of people in this country but they're incompatible with the magic association so I don't know too much about them Aha Yeah I was gonna say this is probably Like some sort of faction, much like the church, that I guess aren't magi, but, um, well, they're unlike the church, I wouldn't say that their powers would be divine or holy. It's more like actualization of the inner spirit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say one of the most fascinating things about Fate Stay Night so far is that despite the central core plot being explicitly about magi, there are also other factions of magic users of completely different nature just out there existing in the world. 
it's interesting that this world building even exists when it just feels so unnecessary for right now. Which has me wondering just how relevant this is going to be in the future. Maybe, maybe this isn't even going to be covered at, at length here in the Fate route. Maybe that's going to be stuff for, well, the Heaven's Feel route, you know? Because ever since the church started getting really introduced and fleshed out, the name Heaven's Feel started taking a different meaning in my mind, you know? Anyway. No, more importantly, the temple. If that temple is a ley line, Master should try to take it immediately. That's strange. Why are others ignoring that place? Um. If that's, if that's true, do, do you want to be more concerned about your freaking house? Hello? Yeah. Because the Ryudo temple is there, right? They keep watch so it doesn't get misused. The monks at the Ryudo temple are all pure monks in training. They aren't like us, so it'd be easy for a master to control them. いいえり、それは違う。確かにマスターならばあの寺院を制圧するのは絶やすいでしょう。しかし、あの山にはマスターにとって都合の悪い結果が張られているのです。No, Rin, that is wrong. It would certainly be easy for a master to gain control of that temple. But that mountain has a boundary field that is inconvenient for masters. A boundary field that's inconvenient for us? <laughs> oh, if only Rin had gone there before. Yes. There is a spell on that mountain that tries to eliminate anything other than natural spirits. It has no effect on normal humans, but it is a dreadful place for us servants. Really? Eliminates anything other than natural spirits? Then that means servants can't enter the mountain. It is possible, but our abilities would degrade. It is much like receiving a command spell telling us not to go near that place. Then, how is the master of the Ryudo Temple maintaining its servant? Okay, hold up a second. This boundary field sounds ridiculously powerful. Who the hell created it and how? There is no boundary field once you enter the temple. I hear that the boundary field was originally a border to protect the temple. The boundary field is only something that rejects people from outside, so it has no other powers. Oh my god, the servant was summoned inside the boundary field. Yo. The servant can exist within it perfectly fine, but leaving it would be like a one-way trip. Oh, that's genius! Oh my god, so this this master, this witch of the mountain, she summons a servant, then while remaining perfectly safe and content, knowing that only a lone magus could enter and promptly be destroyed utterly by their servant, 
She would just take all the time she needs to use the ley line to just feed off life energy like crazy, bulking up powers like crazy, and then ultimately leaving with her servant when the time is right to just go steamroll everyone with that power she's gained. Oh my god, that's that's an ingenious tactic. Holy shit. <laughs> Then, if we make it inside, there's nothing that affects the servant. But that's strange. If you close the temple off like that, the ley line itself would stop. You would have to at least keep one way open, or it couldn't be the center of the ley line, right? Yes. Yes, if you think in terms of the temple, it cannot refuse those visiting through the proper entrance. It may be following on this idea, but I heard that the road leading to the temple does not have the boundary field. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I'm thinking like, like, um, oh, what's the name for those gates? The ones with the red wood and kind of the, like the black caps on the end that looks like a, like a big letter H. Oh, what's, what are they called? I used to know. Fuji gates? No. Eerie gates. I-R-I. Oh. Something, something that sounded like that. Um, damn it, I used to know. Damn it, but one of those. I'm thinking one of those is the entrance. So if you just go in the front door, servants would be fine, but that is, of course, the easiest place in the world to defend and certainly keep a watch. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> At that temple, only the main gate does not have the power to command us servants. I see. That must be it. If you close off all the gates, the air inside will stagnate. Hmm. Only the main gate, huh? That is all I can tell you. So, please come up with a plan. We have proven that there is a master, so I believe there is only one action to take. Oh man, Saber is itching for that fight. I know what Saber wants to say. Her eyes tell me that since the location of the enemy is known, all that's left is to attack. But... I'm going to pass on this. It seems like a trap, and honestly, I can't take any action with this little information. If you're going to go to their home ground, you should at least wait until you find out what kind of servant they have. That is unexpected. I thought that you would go and fight. Go ahead and insult me. Archer isn't fully healed yet, so I'll remain a spectator for a while. Whoa. I was gonna say, when I was, uh, uh, for the end of this video, when things were wrapping up, I was planning on mentioning Archer and how I am dead certain he's fully healed by now and Rin just hasn't said so. But no, if that's, if that's true, and she has no reason to lie here, then... Damn, it, it, it feels like Shiro will never, ever have Saber 
heal up, you know? Huh. I understand. Then, Shiro, let us go to the temple by ourselves. Saber says this as if it is a natural thing to do. But that's... Okay. Oh, no. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> Let's drop a save. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Uh, number 13, then. We are in tab 3 of 15. Uh, fate choice number 13, yes. Okay. So... Let's go down one by one and see what the outcomes could possibly be for either of these choices. One, fight. I can see two things happening. One, uh, Shiro and Saber go there, lose the fight, and die. Game over. Still very much worth doing, just so we could see who it is, see who the servant is, learn some cool information, see some cool things, and a whole lot of blood. Outcome two... Shiro and Saber go there, they win the fight, and then the story goes on? And the s nature of the story is fundamentally changed? Option two, don't fight. There's only one outcome of this, and it's, well, the story goes on for... Who knows how, ma how many hours onward until eventually this master and servant just comes in and steamrolls everyone, maybe, and ends up killing Shiro and it's game over and I have to go all the way back here? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I don't even know how I want this to play out, so... What I do know for certain is that I want to pick fight as my first choice. I'll attack. You know, this actually just feels really contradictory to Shiro's previously stated game plan and personality. If there is a master at the Ryudo Temple, and they are sucking magical energy out of people, then I should stop it as quickly as possible. I agree with Saber. I don't want to be the attacker, but it depends on the enemy. We should go to Ryudo Temple right away to see what kind of master this person is. Then let us go, Shiro. I am glad you are being proactive. So, so I see. If that's your decision, there is nothing for me to say. Just be careful. Tosaka? 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 I'm going to rest. I'm not interested in a fight we've no chance of winning. If you if you don't come back tomorrow, I'll go and collect your remains since we're since we're cooperating. Wow, gee, thanks. Uh, you think she might like the idea of two servants going against one? You know. Saber and Archer teaming up to take out one foe, you know? Like, even if they are both injured, I would think that just the numbers advantage would be crazy good. Well, unless this unknown enemy has an anti... anti-castle uh, noble phantasm, but, uh... What's with her? Saying such ominous things? That must be Rin's way of warning us. 
流動寺には外敵への備えがあるはずです私たちは敵の罠をくぐり抜け上司たるマスターを倒さねばならないのですから There will be defenses against outside enemies at Ryodo Temple. We will have to pass through enemy traps and beat the master. Yeah, so that's all. Well, that's true, but. It's true that I'm not enthusiastic about beating this master. I only want to know who the master at Ryodo Temple is and what their motives are. Battle might be avoidable. And we'll retreat if things get dangerous. That's right. I won't let her look like that again. If I judge that it's dangerous, we'll retreat immediately. Even if Saber doesn't want to, I'll have to forcefully pull her back and bring her home. The clouds are moving fast. There's a strong wind way up in the sky. Well, on that note, this is the perfect place to end things off. Okay. Well, yeah, I can't say I quite followed the humor this time.、Uh, I think I just didn't pick up, on, pick up on exactly what the subtext of the comedy was. I didn't quite get the joke, but after that. Yeah, I am very glad that Shiro told、um, Saber and Rin everything very, very clearly. No holds barred. That's good.、Um, but boy, this enemy. Well, I sure know the next video, we're going to be in for some interesting sights, so. Ah,、uh, man, okay. Hmm. Hopefully, this choice isn't. Too big. Like, boy, I should, I should keep an eye out for the loading screen transitions, like between days. Like, we're due for dawn in a few hours in the universe, and if it stops saying fate and instead starts saying unlimited blade works or heaven's feel or anything like that, yeah, that would be a sign to back out and go the other way. Um, But that's then, so for now. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Fate Stay Night. I thank you for watching, and hopefully, I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.